I'm really pleased to be able to talk about supercomputing, high performance computing today. Uh, dedicated high performance research computing and very, very fast communication networks are absolutely essential to supporting advanced research in the 21st century. And what we've put in place here at the University of Memphis is both. For us, the supercomputer really places us in a much more competitive environment and one that enables us to really improve our research program from the start to the finish. One of the attractive features of coming to University of Memphis was the FedEx Institute and also the supercomputing facility. Bioinformatics is basically uh, a combination of mathematical sciences, computational sciences, and biology to try to understand complex biological systems. It's a kind of a unique intersection of different fields right now. Biologists are being inundated with new data, and this is because technology is driving biology, so to speak, so that we're generating lots and lots of data. You can't really, at this point, do serious bioinformatics and modeling without access to a supercomputer. I'm a professor in computer science. Uh, I'm in charge of the director of Center for Information Assurance, which involves uh, computer security, cyber security, uh, on all the related issues on the internet. We can simulate a big uh, network environment to test the network bandwidth, the capacity of the network, also the effect of uh, worms and viruses, how, how it affects the internet uh, at large. Your processing time becomes significantly reduced uh, and also you can run many things in parallel which is not possible in, uh, in single, simple pieces or workstation. What we do is we simulate liquids. In particular, we're interested in applications in low gravity environments. So this could be like on the moon or the Mars. Um, and we focus on liquid propellants. These are the things that make uh, rockets go. Simulating liquid flows can actually be uh, very computationally intensive. So we require large computers to run some of these problems simply because of the complex geometries that are involved, um, especially when we're simulating these propellants and propellant tanks. A lot of the really exciting leading edge research these days uh, is happening at the edges, uh, at, the, at the intersections of those disciplines. My research is in the area of uh, computational modeling for materials and biological system. And to simulate such large uh, system, it really takes a lot of computational capability. You need to have computers that has a very large memory and that can handle these simulations efficiently uh, on the computer. So we cannot do these simulations on the workstation. So we have to do it on a supercomputer facility. Eventually, we hope that in some day that the computer can advance into such a uh, level that we can even simulate the whole cell. So that would be really cool if we can do that. In, in many ways, this is our first step to move into a much higher rank of computing power on campus. And, and I hope that's a message to people to understand what a great urban research university is really like. Uh, and these are critical uh, components uh, in our quest to be seen as one of America's great metropolitan research universities by 2012. And we're well on our way to achieving that goal.